Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. This video will show you how to perform a two-point stabilization to the position, rotation and scale of a moving image. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the media. If you are watching the podcast version of this video, then type the link displayed in your internet browser. We will achieve this using the Action 3D Compositor as part of our workflow. Please note that these techniques can also be applied using the Axis Timeline Effects or 2D Transform node. Workflows with those tools are covered in other videos. In this sequence, the camera is tracking forward and tilting towards the bird box. To use Action for stabilization, we need to go into Connect Effects. Select the segment in the sequence. Press Control Tab to bring up the Effects ribbon. Click Create Connect Effects. Now break the existing connection between the Source Input node and the CFX Output node. In the Connect Effects node bin, drag out an Action node. Connect the output of the Action to the input of the CFX Output node. So that's the output set up. In order to do any stabilization or tracking in Action, the image needs to be added as a layer. Select the Action node and press Control N. Connect the source media to the red input of the media input node. We don't need to connect the blue input as there is no alpha channel required. Double click on the Action node and press Escape over the ConnectFX schematic to bring up the Action schematic view. So in the composite, we have a single image source which is connected to an Axis node. The Axis node is responsible for object positioning in 3D space. Therefore, any stabilization will be applied in this axis. Double clicking on the axis will bring up its object menu. Under the Axis tab, you will find the stabilizer. Please note that it is the same design as the Axis Timeline Effects. So for stabilization, switch the Tracker mode from Track to Stabilize. With the current settings, the stabilizer will only stabilize position. In order to stabilize position, scale and rotation, you need to enable the other options. If you click on Rotation, you will see a few options in the pull-down menu. Rotation On is for tracking. So if you track a rotation, the identical rotation value will be applied to the layer to match the movement. Rotation Inverse is for stabilization. So if you track a rotation, the rotation value will be inverted and applied to the layer. This cancels out any rotation and stabilizes the image. The same principles apply to scale as well. So if you set rotation and scale to the inverse mode, they will be applied for stabilization. Click the Stabilizer button to enter into the tracking tools. Go to Frame 1. You now have two trackers to work with. Each track is assigned to the numeric keys on the keyboard. Press 1 to ensure Tracker 1 is selected. Tracker 1 is always for position. If you don't see the tracker, press F1 to see the front view with the tracker boxes. Click the tracker boxes and move the magnification over to the silver star. This tracker will only ever track for position stabilization. Press 2 to select Tracker 2. Click and move the tracker boxes over to the rusty nail. This tracker is responsible for calculating scale and rotation. As a tip, move the tracker boxes as far apart as possible. Smoke calculates the rotation and scale by looking at the different positions of each set of tracker boxes. The offset between them will work out the scale and rotation values. Click Analyze and both trackers will track away and calculate their paths. These tracks should be pretty straightforward. Press Return to exit the stabilizer back to Action. Selecting the Axis node, you will see all of its keyframes in the time bar. 
Scrubbing the time bar, you can see that we have stabilized position, rotation and scale. There is still a perspective shift, but that can't be eliminated by point stabilization. In this case, it almost creates the famous Hitchcock dolly and zoom effect. Now there are keyframes on every frame in this axis node. Any adjustments will throw the stabilization off. So we need to add another axis as an offset. This is the same as choosing the offset button in the axis timeline effects. Switch to the action node bin. Drag out a new axis and place it between the original axis and image node. To prevent any unusual behaviours, always place the tracking axis at the top of the branch and the offset axis in the middle. So the image is actually offset first and then stabilized. This is what keeps the stabilization working properly. Double click on the offset axis. In the offset transformations, scale the image and move it up slightly. This will knock out any black edges from the stabilization. And that is the stabilization complete. Just some extra information. When the trackers were set up, we used frame 1 to be the stabilization reference. But if you want to use another frame as the reference, just go to that frame before placing the trackers. The only thing is that you will have to track backward and forwards, but that is not a problem. Exit Connect Effects and render the segment. Here is the final result using the full screen playback. Let's move on to the next example of smoothing out an unstable camera move using the 2D Transform node. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning channel for future videos.